Did you know kids today are reading significantly less than before? Picture a future where our next generations might just end up being the most uninformed in history. All because finding that perfect reading material feels like searching for a needle in a haystack. Well, brace yourself, because AI is swooping in to the rescue. Meet Google Study, an AI tool that's not only about to revolutionize the way our kids read, but also promise to get them hooked to it. Today, we'll dive into exactly how this AI tool works, explore the nitty-gritty technicalities for those of you who are into that, and discuss the potential impact Google Study could have on our society. But first, are you subscribed to this channel so you don't miss our AI Weekly Update that captures every headline that happens each week? All right, let's dive in and explore what this AI tool has to offer. Whether you're a tech geek or just curious, stay tuned. Reading isn't just about getting lost in a fantasy world or passing time. It significantly boosts linguistic skills, understanding of diverse cultures, and even emotional well-being. But with an overwhelming ocean of reading materials, how do students find the right book? Enter Google Study. So what exactly is Google Study? It is just like a teacher's assistant that knows just the right book to recommend to a student to keep them turning pages. But this assistant isn't human. It's a cutting-edge AI system created by Google. Here's the problem Google is tackling. Despite the wealth of reading materials available both online and offline, young folks aren't reading as much as they used to. But we know reading has enormous benefits, right? It boosts linguistic and life skills, fosters emotional well-being, and it's even linked to academic success. So the challenge here is helping students discover reading material that is not only age-appropriate, but also engaging and relevant to them. How cool is that? So Google Study isn't just any AI. It's designed to serve up effective recommendations for students. The idea is to make finding that next great read as easy and exciting as possible to encourage students to read more. Google developed this in partnership with Learning Ally, a nonprofit aiming to help dyslexic students, and that collaboration has been pretty special. They're using Learning Ally's massive library of audiobooks to fuel these recommendations. Now here's a really cool twist. Google Study considers the social nature of reading. You know how we're more likely to watch a movie if our friends are talking about it. Google Study applies a similar logic to books. It actually takes into account what a student's peers are reading, which seems like a smart move, since we're often influenced by what our friends are into. So it's not just about what one student likes, but what their whole classroom is engaging with. A notable feature of the study model is its unique attention to timing. The algorithm is designed to consider when books were read in a student's history, adding another layer of personalization. It's almost like having a librarian who knows not just your taste, but your entire class's taste and reading history. First things first, study stands for Socially Aware Temporally Causal Decoder Recommender Systems. That was a mouthful. But it's a cool tech that understands that reading isn't a solo act. It takes into account the social nature of reading, considering what a student's classmates are reading when recommending the next book. Machine learning is already tailing your video, shopping, and even music recommendations. And now, Google's latest AI venture named Study promises to do the same thing for audiobooks. Collaborating with Learning Ally, Google is hoping to enhance reading experiences by suggesting relevant audiobooks based on what peers in the same classroom are enjoying. Think of it as pure pressure, but for a good cause. Let's say Johnny finished reading Harry Potter. Instead of just suggesting the next book in that series, which might still be a good pick, Study might think, hmm, Johnny's classmates are enjoying Percy Jackson these days, and it's kind of similar to Harry Potter. Maybe Johnny would love to dive into some Greek mythology next. So instead of getting the same old recommendations, Johnny now gets suggestions influenced by the latest classroom trends. But Google didn't just stop there. They did extensive tests on this algorithm to ensure it's effective. They checked how often the study tool could predict the very next book a student would pick, especially when it wasn't the obvious next book in a series or a previously read title. The result? Study outperformed other models, consistently placing the actual next pick within its top five suggestions. That's like having a superpower for predicting reading choices. The backbone of Study is its partnership with Learning Ally. Google and Learning Ally have shared two years' worth of anonymous data. They know which audiobooks students are enjoying, but without knowing who those students are, maintaining complete privacy. 
Let's break down how the study algorithm works. It's designed like a click-through rate prediction problem. In simple terms, it tries to guess what book a student is likely to pick next based on a bunch of factors. These include their previous choices, the book's details, and what their classmates are reading. Cool, right? Now, let's get into the techie part. Google used something called a transformer-based model. Think of it like a super smart machine that predicts what you would like to read next based on your last picks and, here's the cool part, what your classmates are reading. The unique twist here is that study doesn't just look at one student at a time. It checks out the reading patterns in the whole class and makes recommendations based on what's trending among classmates. It arranges all this data in a way that the model knows what books were read before the current time point, ensuring the recommendations are super relevant. But how precise is it, you ask? Google rigorously tested study against other models. The goal was to measure how often the very next audiobook a student chose was one that study had recommended. Spoiler alert, study pretty much knocked it out of the park, consistently outshining other models. Now, a cool little tidbit. The effectiveness of study comes down to its ability to group students in the right way. Turns out, students in the same school and grade are more likely to have similar reading preferences than those in the same district. I mean, that makes sense, right? You and your classmates probably have more in common than kids across town. The issue at hand is that kids aren't reading enough. In a world overflowing with potential reading material, both digital and physical, pinpointing the perfect, age-appropriate content that excites a student is like finding a needle in a haystack. Here's where Google's study steps in, wielding the power of AI like a guiding light. Google isn't just proposing a solution. They're weaving technology into the fabric of social learning, using AI to nudge students closer to a world of stories, knowledge, and empathy. It's not just a win for education. It's a high five for responsible AI application. And that is what's most important. Meanwhile, do you want to see what else Google AI is cooking up that will disrupt the journalism industry? Then you should see this video on Google Genesis, where we have covered all the details for you.